In terms of Thomas & Friends merchandise, the Tomix range has to be one of my favorites, and honestly it always has been. I've been lucky enough to get most of the characters throughout my collecting, like Thomas, James, and Percy, but one character would always prove nearly impossible for me to attain, that being Henry, for a number of reasons. One, he's not the most easy to come upon. Two, when you do find a Tomix Henry, there's a chance it's not going to run. And three, this thing normally sells for about three to five hundred dollars. So yeah, definitely not the easiest in terms of collecting. And honestly, I had accepted that I likely would never have one for myself. But that all would change about three days ago, when my good friend Boldout95 would send me an eBay listing for not only the Tomix Thomas and James, but also a Henry and his brake coach with a starting bid of only $100. Eventually the listing would accept offers and I would send one in not thinking much of it, definitely not expecting to win, but somehow I did. And one dream that I thought definitely not attainable was suddenly and somehow attained. So major shout out and thank you to him for making this possible. I cannot explain to you guys the excitement that I have for this. And now that we've talked about all of that, let's go ahead and get into the review, starting with me unboxing this guy. All right, guys, here he is, conveniently in um, green bubble wrapping, so uh, that's kind of convenient. I've already uh, taken the tape off, so let's just go ahead and take a look at this guy. Oh, I guess not all of the tape. Let's see. Oh, there he is. Wow. He's a lot bigger than I thought. Wow. I know the Tomix Thomas trains are, you know, considered to be a lot bigger, but this guy just feels so big, especially for in scale, but he feels, you know, still in scale if that makes any sense at all. Wow, okay, so he's not like James. The uh, tinder is actually screwed on, at least to mine. All around, this model looks phenomenal. Just like the other Tomix trains, there are no lamp irons or any lamps on the front. Um, yeah, no tail lamps on the back either. Wow, whoa, that coal load is way better than I expected it to be. That looks very realistic, wow. And here you can see the detail on the end of his tinder. Here he is. He's a bit dirty, unfortunately, but that's really not that big of a deal. Most Bachman trains I buy, you know, have some form of grease on them from the factory. Wow, that face. This feels and looks just so model series. It feels so classic. The tinder looks phenomenal. The model itself looks phenomenal. And I'm not seeing any bending here on his rods, so here's to hoping this is a good runner. There you can see inside of his cab, or at least what's available inside of his cab. He's very much like James in that he has this motor casing, which kind of blacks that out, which does kind of stink, but I wasn't really planning on putting a crew in this guy anyway. This guy is absolutely amazing. Proportionally, he's looking pretty all right. I'll have to put him against ruler pictures of the actual Henry to be sure, but from from what I can tell, everything here is looking pretty accurate, especially the face and the overall detailing. This guy is, this is amazing. And here he is next to Thomas. Wow, that is, that's kind of funny to look at. That's, um, yeah, Thomas is a little bigger than his tender about. He is, um, micro compared to, uh, Henry, it seems. It's crazy how big but still tiny this guy is. Yeah, it's looking like this is gonna be one of my favorites. No competition. Here's a better look at him up close. I am seeing a bit of breaking in the lining, but eh, it's not really that big of a deal. Here's the other side and his front. This has to be one of the best pieces of merchandise I think I've ever got my hands on. No competition. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, we have his brake coach, which Wow, looking at it now, it's a lot more detailed than I thought it would be. We've got detailing on the front, which I believe is model series accurate. There is, yeah, I'm not seeing any detailing on the inside of the coach, which does kind of stink, but uh, honestly, not that big of a deal. This thing is huge. Let's put this thing next to Thomas. Let's see how, wow. Yeah, these guys are way bigger than I anticipated, but no complaints here. This coach looks absolutely amazing, just like Henry. It stinks to only have the brake one though, so I'll have to be on the lookout for the others too. Here's a better look at this one. Now that we have the unboxing and first impressions out of the way, let's take a look at the model closer up. Now, first things first, this model is astonishing. Now, like the other characters in this range, unfortunately Henry doesn't have any lamp irons, which does knock a bit off in terms of accuracy. But I would argue everything else is pretty much there. The face is absolutely phenomenal on this model, essentially capturing Henry's model series smile to a T, and everything else on the model is wonderful too. And honestly, I don't have a lot to say that's negative about the Tomix Henry. That being said though, I do have a couple nitpicks with the model itself. 
One of the gripes I do have would definitely be his cap, which as you can see here is completely blacked out to hide the motor, but being an in-scale locomotive, there was probably only so much I could do with a cab anyway, so really it's not that big of a deal. If I really want to fit a crew, there's plenty of room on the tender footplate. And speaking of the tender, the coal load featured inside of it is probably one of the best molds I've ever seen. Yes, unfortunately it is molded, but it looks amazing, and I imagine it wouldn't be too hard to swap it out for real coal, though that's not something I plan to do. Modifying this guy seems sacrilegious, though if you wanted to, it's definitely an option. Unfortunately, there's no tail lamp on the tender either, and like I said before, my model did come a bit dirty, but overall, I have to say this model is phenomenal, and I really hope it runs as good as it looks. Unfortunately, mine does have a bit of paint missing here and there, and some breaks in the lining, but to me, this doesn't really take away much. Honestly, I'm just happy to have this model, and in a way, it makes me happy that he was loved before me, especially not too much. You know, at least he has all of his buffers and isn't too bad off. The brake coach is definitely a looker too, featuring a very classic model series look, though I do have to say I'm a bit disappointed, only with the fact that there's no interior detailing. Now this is in scale, so it's pretty hard to do, and the Tomics Annie and Clarabelle is just as guilty. They don't feature interior detailing either, so maybe I'm just being picky, but I did find that to be a bit of a letdown. As a whole though, the coach is great. Even the front and back of these coaches match the model series almost perfectly. It's understandable why these are so sought after, and I couldn't be luckier or happier to have one for my collection. And now that we've taken a closer look at Henry, let's see this guy in action. Henry was waiting anxiously for Thomas's trucks. Fwah, you're late and that smell is making me ill. I can't help it, it's the fish, replied Thomas. And there's danger on the rails, that's why we're late. <laughs> you're the only danger on the rails, Thomas. Now stop wasting time and get your trucks hitched to my train. <laughs> Now, I'm sure you guys are curious what my overall rating of the Tomix Henry is, and honestly, it's a bit complicated. If we're looking at just the model, it's definitely an easy 9 out of 10, with the few nitpicks I talked about earlier taking that point off. However, in terms of price, it's a whole other ballgame. This guy can go for ridiculous amounts, and I definitely don't think he's worth a ridiculous amount. The most I would pay for this model is two to $300, and a good portion of that goes to its rarity, not just because it's a good model. If you're ever able to find this guy for a reasonable price, I highly recommend you pick him up. It really stinks that the best model in the Tomix Thomas range is probably the hardest to attain, but at least for me, it made finally obtaining him that much better, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed taking a look at him with me. If you did, be sure to subscribe for even more train content, there's always more stuff on the way, and as always, thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.